My name is Lia Uribe. I am a bassoonist from Colombia. I moved to the States back in 1999 to further my studies. And ever since, I have been part of this society uh, with an active career, both teaching and performing. At the present, I am the bassoon professor at the University of Arkansas. I'm also principal bassoonist for two local professional orchestras. And I have an um, um, extensive career as a performance and um, teaching guest artists to conferences, festivals, and different um, you know, institutions, universities all over the United States and, um, and abroad as well. Um, the world of classical music is, um, as we know, um, dominated by white male European traditions. And um, I have found um, that my place in life is to come forward as a, you know, as a woman, as an immigrant, and um, as an educator, and present who I am through the power, through the platform of classical music, but bringing up the richness of Latin American traditions. Um, I've been working on this as the forefront of my research at the university, and also um, as the core of my repertoire in recitals and most recently recordings. Um, it is a difficult realm because, as I said, has been dominated by other forces. And um, I think that it's a ma matter of awareness and a matter of strengthening our representation. And that's what I've been working really diligently to become a voice, um, a leader in our community. Um, and, um, and as a, an example as well of um, what Latin artists, Latin ex artists do and can do and should do um, today in this um, time and place. Um, as many of you, um, I also was disheartened a year ago when um, you know we saw the political climate change. Uh, but um, after some years of self reflect, I mean, some days of self reflection and questioning, I can only um, become stronger by the power of music. I believe in the power of art, I believe in the power that art has to transform lives, and um, that's what I do, and that's what I want to do even more. Uh, I am active in different um, boards in town and in the area, and I have been working with uh, different institutions, museums, um, libraries, um, other higher education institutions, um, K-12 schools, um, to um, create programs in which Latin American music is presented. So, An example of a recent project is a recording I started a year ago of music for bassoon and piano. I commissioned some of the pieces, um, so I work side by side with composers. Um, there's one um, important composer I want to uh, bring to your attention. Uh, her name is Adina Isarra. She's from Venezuela and now lives in Ecuador. She had to leave her country because of the upheaval political situation um, in her country. And he, she wrote a piece called Ritmos de Vuelo, a piece inspired by the flying of birds in flocks. And um, it's a beautiful piece, very um, idiomatic, well-written. Uh, for bassoon and piano, but also carries a very important narrative um, that is very appropriate for our situation today. Um, flying, migrating, uh, the search for freedom, freedom of expression, freedom of um, uh, artistic expression. So um, things like that are the you know, stories that are go along with the music that I perform and record, that I bring along in my performances that I want and to continue delivering and being, um, uh, you know, making them present in um, people's all, people of all ages, <coughs> all situations. Um, attending the Leadership Institute, um, uh, the Intercultural Leadership Institute, uh, is a dream of mine because I think it's a great platform for me to uh, connect with other people, to network, to uh, be inspired and to inspire other people, and also a place for us to join forces and become stronger. So um, when we go again back to the world, we know we have um, a circle of people working for the same um, goals and the same objectives, which is um, 
to create and to deliver those creations and to strengthen voices and to represent the underrepresented. So um, I hope you take into consideration this application. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.